Let's continue. In an inverter system, you will have a rectifier circuit with four diodes, but in a different format, the format of those four diodes will be encapsulated. For what reason? Because they consume much more amperage, they get hot and this format is appropriate to place a heat sink like the one we are seeing here. You have this rectifier at this point, there are the four diodes. Notice that three connectors are closer together and others are further apart. This is placed like this, but on the other side the connectors are reversed. Here is something interesting, something that I really like to explain. This is quite ruined and it is inside the plate. Something that I like that students can become is to do several tests with the board connected to the equipment and without having to completely disassemble it. If you have disassembled any inverter equipment or if you did not, it does not matter. You will know that when we disassemble an outdoor unit, this part is almost visible to us. That means that we have the possibility of measuring the rectifier, and that is very interesting because it gets damaged a lot. This rectifier, with this format, has, in its two internal connectors, the input of alternating current, and at its two ends the output of direct current. The one that is furthest away is positive. How is its operation controlled? If you think about it, it is very simple. You already know what is inside here for encapsulated diodes that are together and we already know how our rectifier circuit is configured. As we look at this, we are going to control this encapsulated rectifier. I'm going to zoom in and light a little more. At the inputs of alternating current, we are going to find two different diodes at the negative and positive output. If I go to the negative from alternating currents, I will always be finding a direct polarized diode from alternating currents to negative, and the same goes to happen with this circuit. From alternating to negative, I always have to find a direct biased diode. These diodes produce less voltage drop because they are bigger, that is, they have more capacity to pass more. Amps, that's why they are bigger and the voltage drop is less. Here I have two diodes in good condition, but if I invert these wires, it has to do the opposite, it doesn't have to let the electrons through. And that is happening. Now we go from alternating current to positive current. From the alternating to the positive, the electrons do not pass, and if I do the other way around, from the positive to the alternating, in that case if the electrons are going to pass. And the same would happen the other way around, we will go to the positive and to the alternating electrons pass and the opposite of alternating to positive the electrons do not pass this rectifier is in good condition and you can do the same measurement on your inverter board. For the moment of the fifth diode do not worry because I will explain later what it's for, we're not there yet. Don't pay attention to it for now.